Hi, and welcome to the School Safety and Design Lab team. Here's a little bit of background on D-Lab design thinking and where we are in the process. We knew that we needed to empathize in order to understand our issue, and so our team wanted to hear at least five different perspectives on school safety. In order to do this, we talked to students from many different schools, teachers, principals, and even the Idaho Director of Student Engagement and School Safety. When one stone was forced to go remote due to COVID-19, we decided to pivot our project to benefit students amidst this time of fear and isolation. After pivoting, we came up with a new how might we to solve. How might we help support the mental health needs of youth in Boise during this time of uncertainty, knowing that there is a need for connection right now? We are currently in the process of ideation, coming up with possible solutions to our problem of student mental health during COVID-19. As a team, we are partnered with Corey Johnson with Cushing Terrell. Corey is an associate principal and architect at Cushing Terrell, which is an architecture firm with locations across the country, specifically located downtown Boise on 8th and Main. Their mission is to invent a better way of living. Corey reached out to One Stone, wanting student insight on what makes schools feel safe and unsafe, and a solution to some of those problems. So after talking with Corey, um, it made most sense to us to make our end users middle to high school students in Boise. And after conducting a few empathy interviews with school administrators, we found that student well-being and a strong community is a very important aspect of school safety. So we decided that as a team, we wanted to focus on supporting students' mental health and stability because it's so crucial to keeping schools safe. And in this case, um, students safe at home. So we decided to kind of pivot. Originally, we were focusing on finding ways to build a stronger school culture and community, focusing less on the individual student. And now with students shut down, or with schools shut down due to COVID-19, we are um, focusing more on each student's individual needs and well-being. So these are the three top ideas that our team came up with. The first is a pen pal where we keep students connected so that they don't feel lonely in these times of isolation the second is an instagram account where we would post daily activities to help keep your mind active such as workouts recipe crafts and much more just to keep your mind active during these times where you're not supposed to be doing anything and just sitting inside and the last is zoom meetings with community partners or not partners but people in the community that students would like to hear about and that they're interested in so that they can keep themselves academically engaged when there's low motivation and times where you're supposed to just be working off of your computer or working in books, doing papers and whatnot. As a team, we decided that we could further ideate upon these solutions to make them more impactful. During our discussion to pivot, Opal mentioned that her dad is a social worker and had mentioned that her and had told her that the foster care system has been badly affected by this pandemic we are currently experiencing. So we decided that this was an opportunity to do some good in a small group of people's lives. So with this, we thought that we could make a larger impact if we had foster kids in a local group home as our end users instead of our initially broad group of students. Kids in group homes have very minimal access to technology and outside communication. So we thought about which of our three ideas would help them the most and landed on our pen pal solution. This way we could write anonymous letters with a buddy at the group home. We think this is a good idea because it could give both the kids at the Hayes house more connection to people outside of who they are quarantined with. And it could also be an outlet for creativity. And also everyone feels special and excited to receive a letter with their name on it in the mail. This would also be a mutually beneficial solution because we are all collectively experiencing these weird times. And although our circumstances are different, we still all need human connection, especially right now. If we as a group can help even one person get through this, then we will have succeeded. Uh, thank you so much for watching our presentation. We would really love to hear your comments and suggestions and feedback. Uh, so if you could answer the questions that are on this slide, that would be super helpful to us so we could continue with our project move into the prototyping and implementing stages of the design thinking process. So thank you.